In the New Testament, a presbyter Greek presbyteros, elder, is a leader of a local Christian congregation. The word derives from the Greek presbyteros, which means elder or senior. The Greek word episkopos literally means overseer, it refers exclusively to the office of bishop. Many understand presbyteros to refer to the bishop functioning as overseer. In modern Catholic and Orthodox usage, presbyter is distinct from bishop and synonymous with priest. In predominant Protestant usage, presbyter does not refer to a member of a distinctive priesthood called priests, but rather to a minister, pastor, or elder. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word presbyter etymologically derives from Greek presbyteros, presbyteros the comparative form of presbys, presbys old man. However, while the English word priest has presbyter as the etymological origin, the distinctive Greek word Greek hierius hierius for priest is never used for presbyteros, episkopos in the New Testament, except as being part of the general priesthood of all believers, with the first Christians making a distinction between sacerdotal Jewish and pagan priests and New Testament pastors. History The earliest organization of the church in Jerusalem was according to most scholars similar to that of Jewish synagogues, but it had a council or college of ordained presbyters Greek, presbyteroi elders. In Acts 11 verse 30 and Acts 15 verse 22, we see a collegiate system of government in Jerusalem though headed by James, according to tradition the first bishop of the city. In Acts 14 verse 23, the Apostle Paul ordains presbyters in the churches he founded. The term presbyter was often not yet clearly distinguished from the term overseer episkopoi, episkopoi, later exclusively used as meaning bishop, as in Acts chapter 20 verse 17, Titus chapter 1 verses 5 to 7 and 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 1. The earliest writings of the Apostolic Fathers, the Didache and the First Epistle of Clement for example, show the Church used two terms for local church offices. Presbyters seen by many as an interchangeable term with episcopos or overseer and deacon. In Timothy and Titus in the New Testament a more clearly defined episcopate can be seen. We are told that Paul had left Timothy in Ephesus and Titus in Crete to oversee the local church 1 Tim 1 and Titus chapter 1 verse 5. Paul commands them to ordain presbyters, bishops and to exercise general oversight, telling Titus to rebuke with all authority. Titus chapter 2 verse 15. Early sources are not clear, but various groups of Christian communities would have had a group of college or presbyter overseers functioning as leaders of the local churches. Eventually, the head or monarchic bishop came to rule more clearly, and all local churches would eventually follow the example of the other churches and structure themselves after the model of the others with the one bishop in clearer charge, though the role of the body of priests remained important. From the second century, it is certain that the offices of bishop and presbyter were clearly distinguished. The bishop was understood as the president of the Council of Presbyters, and so the bishop was distinguished both in honor and in prerogative from the presbyters, who were seen as deriving their authority by means of delegation from the bishop. Each episcopal see had its own bishop and his presence was necessary to consecrate any gathering of the church. Eventually, as Christendom grew, individual congregations were no longer directly served by a bishop. The bishop in a large city, the metropolitan bishop, would appoint a priest to pastor the flock in each congregation, acting as his delegate. The 4th century scholar Jerome, 347 to 420, stated Therefore a presbyter is the same as a bishop is, and before that by the instigation of the devil emulations in respect to religion arose, and people began to say, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, the churches were governed by the common council of the presbyters. But, after that each one was accustomed to regard those whom he had baptized as his own disciples and not of Christ, it was decreed in the whole world that one chosen from among the presbyters should be placed over the others. Therefore, as presbyters may know that by the custom of the church they are subject to the one who has been placed over them, so also bishops may understand that they are greater than presbyters more by custom than by the veritable ordinance of the Lord. 
Slightly different other versions quoting John Calvin express the same. A Catholic explanation suggests that the delegates were bishops in the actual sense of the term but that they neither possessed fixed sees nor had a special title. Since they were essentially itinerant, they confided the fixed necessary functions relating to the daily life of the community to the care of some of the better educated and highly respected converts. Along with this was the title priest being distinctively ascribed to presbyters, bishops. Catholic writer Greg Dews, author of Catholic Customs and Traditions, explains that priesthood as we know it in the Catholic Church was unheard of during the first generation of Christianity, because at that time priesthood was still associated with animal sacrifices in both the Jewish and pagan religions. When the Eucharist came to be regarded as a sacrifice after Rome's theology, the role of the bishop took on a priestly dimension. By the third century bishops were considered priests. Presbyters or elders sometimes substituted for the bishop at the Eucharist. By the end of the 3rd century people all over were using the title priest hieros in Greek and sacerdos in Latin for whoever presided at the Eucharist. Topic Modern usage The Roman Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church, the non-Chalcedonian churches, and similar groups typically refer to presbyters in English as priests priest is etymologically derived from the Greek presbyteros via the Latin presbyter. Collectively, however, their college is referred to as the presbyterium, presbytery, or presbyterate. This usage is seen by most Protestant Christians as stripping the laity of its priestly status, while those who use the term defend its usage by saying that, while they do believe in the priesthood, Greek hierius hierius, a different word altogether, used in Rev 1 to 6, 1 Pet 2 to 9, of all believers, they do not believe in the eldership of all believers. This is generally true of United Methodists, who ordain elders as clergy pastors while affirming the priesthood of all believers. The Evangelical or ultra -low church Anglican Diocese of Sydney has abolished the use of the word «priest» for those ordained as such. They are now referred to as «presbyters». Presbyterians sometimes refer to their ruling elders and teaching elders ministers as «presbyters». The website of the International Standard Version of the Bible, a Protestant translation, responds to a criticism of its use of elder over priest by stating the following, no Greek lexicons or other scholarly sources suggest that presbyteros means priest instead of elder. The Greek word is equivalent to the Hebrew zachun, which means elder, and not priest. You can see the zakenim described in Exodus chapter 18 verses 21 to 22 using some of the same equivalent Hebrew terms as Paul uses in the GK of 1 and 2 Timothy and Titus. Note that the zakenim are not priests i.e., from the tribe of Levi, but are rather men of distinctive maturity that qualifies them for ministerial roles among the people. Therefore, the NT equivalent of the zakenim cannot be the Levitical priests. The Greek presbyteros literally, the comparative of the Greek word for old and therefore translated as one who is older thus describes the character qualities of the episkopos. The term elder would therefore appear to describe the character, while the term overseer for that is the literal rendering of episkopos connotes the job description. See also John the Presbyter Prester John Presbyterium